I'm here at the Udell residence and we're here with Rich and Paige Udell. Rich is and Paige are the owners of a beautiful Callaway Corvette, C8 Corvette, and we're going to talk a little bit about that today and also about what new is coming down the line for them, which I think you'll be very interested in. And I've got a little friend here, Hoochie Mama, who is also here. So listen, Rich, uh, thanks for coming on again. You know, you're an old friend here from the uh, videos that we've done. And uh, talk a little bit about the current Callaway car that you have now and talk about what's headed uh, coming up in the future, if you would. I would love to. Um, we have a C8 Corvette that was the prototype for Callaway Performance cars. Now keep in mind Callaway Performance is the only high performance manufacturer that um, has had a 35 year relationship with General Motors and they have access to the General Motors engine management system. They work hand in hand with them, long time, long time relationship. Um, our prototype car has, um, as many of you know, the C8s have a little push to them. So Callaway took it upon themselves to redesign the front suspension to take that um, uh, push out of it, which they did yeah. successfully. And they have lowered the car. However, for those of you that have the feature that lowers, that still operates just as it did before. The car that we have has a tuned exhaust and it has um, Callaway's redesigned rear end, which features not only the tuned exhaust, but the double D signature Callaway yes. exhaust. Great signature, yeah. Yes. I love that. It's very beautiful rear end. All of the rocker panels, front splitters, and all of this is carbon fiber made in-house, not in a foreign country, in-house, and wind tunnel tested. And the wheels that Callaway offers are a wonderful, they're a forged wheel out of Germany. Again, Callaway has three locations. One is in Germany, one is in Temecula, California, and one is in Old Lyme, Connecticut. So these wheels alone are approximately an inch wider than the standard C8 to give the car a little bit better footing but the main feature is, is they take 26 pounds of unsprung weight off the car. And for those of you that enjoy handling and enjoy driving, this makes a significant difference. Now, in addition to this, the car has, you know, the standard badging inside, floor mats and so on and so forth, and the wonderful subtle badging on the outside. Um, engine compartment, also displays a Callaway signature in there. Yep. Um, I just uh, two days ago had a um, meeting, a Zoom meeting with Callaways, Callaway engineers and their um, CEO. And it was about an hour and a half long and they are um, ready to come out, um, they have shared this with Callaway owners and people that have made deposits on Callaway cars. Um, I got a chance to see the engineering um, photos and so on, which I also shared with Bob, but we are not quite ready to make those totally public. But Callaway has in the past used a twin screw supercharger. Everybody has been just waiting with bated breath for Callaway to come out with their version of the high performance C8 from the engine and engine management standpoint. Now keep in mind that Callaway when they install a supercharger they do not have to piggyback another computer. 
That is a very important point because with this global management, um, they have had not only some, but a lot of problems. So with this 35 year relationship and shared engineering data with General Motors, um, you can expect a product that upholds the Callaway name and still everything they do to the C8 carries a full factory warranty. So Callaway in the past has used a roots type supercharger. They have decided for the C8 that a more efficient way to go is a twin screw supercharger. Callaway is not particularly inclined to buy 1-800 or buy products from vendors. So they completely redesigned, or not redesigned, but designed a twin screw supercharger for the C8 Corvette. So they're, they're building all of this equipment in-house. Yes, they are. And all designed by them. Yes, designed by them, Very tested by them, and it is, as Bob saw this morning, it is a beautiful, uncluttered piece that Very when clean. it's... Yeah. When it's installed, there's no spaghetti in the engine compartment. It is just a very, very neat arrangement. Yeah, it looks now, good. looks very good. Everybody <clears throat> is asking, and this is the main question, what is the horsepower? I can tell you that the horsepower is 687 horsepower at 6,450 RPMs. Nice. And the torque is 643 foot-pounds of torque. That's a very interesting number, by the way. Yes, yeah. at 4,450 RPMs. And I would just tease you a little bit to look at what the numbers are on the Z06. Um, you keep in mind that the engine and power plant we're working with has the 6.2 has the cubic inches, and in my opinion, and it's just my opinion, uh, it has the torque and the power completely through the power curve, and it reaches it, as I said, at 6,450 RPMs. Now, Callaway has been testing this transmission, uh, or not this transmission, but this car, and the um, average, uh, performance data that they have. This is something that's attainable by you or I that are not a professional driver. The zero to 60 is 2.67 seconds. The quarter mile is 10.64 seconds at 129 miles per hour. Interesting. And so this is um, available or will be available for either the coupe or the convertible. Convertible is a little bit more of a challenge, but they have cracked that nut as well. Um, and so this is something that is most exciting. The other thing that I will mention to you that Callaway actually had to detune the supercharger a little bit because their data and GM's data indicate that where they are with this supercharger will be more than adequately handled by the Tremec transmission without modifying it. Well, that's interesting. That and thing. that means that even some of the idiots can't do damage. So, um, so they, are, they, are, they, are, they are connected with General Motors and between the two of them they discuss the transmission and want to make sure that there was no way they overtuned the car and they gave too much horsepower so that they um, possibly damaged the transmission. That's, that's, a, that's a huge point, and I think it's a very good one. Yes, and they've actually detuned the supercharger to be at the position that they're at because one of the things that Callaway stands for is perfection. They want it right, they want it right the first time. Now, in addition to this, that this is coming, um, they also offer a wide body kit. Now our car within the next week or so will go back to Callaway. They will install the wide body kit, which um, 
then enables them to put bigger wheels. The back wheels will be 13 inches wide and I think that they will um, handle a 245 or 250 um, rear tire, which should be just absolutely incredible for handling. They also have some additional rocker arm pieces that are carbon fiber and uh, to, to carry this package out. Ground effects is what I guess I'm really saying. Um, the way that you deal with Callaway, I will probably just suggest to you, there's a couple of ways. If you already own a C8, then you are able to right now contact Callaway, put a thousand dollar deposit down to hold a spot for your car. And with that spot, um, the next question from people, how long will Callaway have it to make these modifications? Right. Two and a half weeks is their turnaround, which nice. I think is spectacular. Wow. That's good. <laughs> they are starting the first batch up in Old Lyme, Connecticut. And of course, our car is headed. We're just waiting for the transport. And um, it will be up there. And for all of you enthusiasts, the debut will be Carlisle, which is coming up the end of August. August so right. this will, you are able to get on the list to get a spot for this. Now, the other way that you can do it, if you are in the ordering process of a C8, whoever your dealer is, there is a code that they have. You tell them that you want it to go directly to Callaway. Oh, so there is ship it right there. No, no additional okay. charge. The shipping charge takes it to Callaway. And that's a wonderful relationship, oh, again, yeah. between General Motors and well, Callaway. I think General Motors uh, has the confidence in Callaway that they're not dealing with some tuner down in a garage down in some corner of that's some right. place. So, so they, they're willing to do that. And I think Callaway has a wonderful uh, uh, relationship with General Motors which allows them to do something like that. Because I don't know any other car, any other tuner, any other business that has that connection that Callaway has with, with General Motors. So that tells me, that tells us, that General Motors uh, thinks very highly of Callaway too. That's very good. Well, it's interesting because if you go to Carlisle, you have the Callaway display, and guess where it's at? Right next door to the GM Perfect. display. And I was there two years ago with this car when we first did the earlier part of what I described. It was debuted at Carlisle. And they, uh, Callaway folks, were on a first name basis because GM has their Corvette engineers, all their folks there. They're all on a first name basis. And um, it is uh, the experience I've had, and like I say, um, we have been fortunate enough to be asked for our input because Paige and I were so successful with show cars in years past. And my dealings with Callaway, I am so impressed with yeah. the people, the quality of, of their goals, and what the goal, what goals they set for themselves. It's absolutely amazing. It's just, an, it's just a true pleasure to work with these folks. So the way I got it, Rich, is that your car is going back to Callaway and that it's gonna be all done, all done in time for Corvettes at Carlisle, and that you're going to be there at Corvettes at Carlisle with your car, all done with the wide body and the supercharger, everything, and we're going to see all that soon. Yes, the um, Carlisle Corvettes at Carlisle is the end of August, and I have spoken with um, uh, Callaway because sometimes when in an application like this, they can get it to where the public can view it at Carlisle. And I asked this, the question, which scenario is it gonna go back to old Lyme to get touched up or any adjustments? And I was told the car will be complete at Carlisle. So when 
Those of you that come to Car Corvettes of Carlisle, you will see the completed package, wide body, the big wheels, big tires, supercharger. This will be what Callaway offers to the public um, and you can um, get even a better look at it in the real world. Perfect, perfect. That sounds like a great idea. A lot of people go into Kyle they do every year, and so I'm sure there'll be a mob scene all around. <laughs> Your car should be interesting. And you're also doing uh, something with SEMA, I believe. Well, we have uh, the negotiations and the invitations are kind of in place. And um, for those of your viewers from central part of the United States and West Coast, I think there is a very strong possibility, um, very strong possibility, that the car will be at SEMA. And if that's the case, I would like to invite all of you to come meet Paige and I, and Hoochie, and <laughs> see the car. Um, it, um, in all probability, and I cannot say this for sure, but we are hopeful that it will be in the Mother's Booth, which is one of the major, major sponsors at SEMA. And it is in Hot Rod Alley, and it is a huge, huge uh, arena for cars. They have some of the best cars in America that they pick. We're hopeful that this Callaway will share some space in there. Also, um, we have up here in, uh in the villages, open to anybody, outside the villages too, anybody can come. We're gonna have a special meet and greet after Rich's car gets back from Corvettes of Carlisle. And we'll have a special Saturday up in Brownwood Paddock Square uh, in the morning. And you can come by and see all the new uh, add-ons and all the new modifications that have happened to Rich and Page's beautiful Callaway Corvette. It's going to be even more beautiful when it gets back here, and I can't wait to see that. So we're going to have a special, a special uh, Saturday morning right here. Just we are, and we're looking forward to it. And Bob made me promise that in Central <laughs> Florida, that that his venue be the first one <laughs> that the car sees. And uh, he has a great, great meet and greet. It's just a wonderful time for Corvette owners to get together, to look at some of the new things that people have put on their cars. Yes. And again, there's one side portion of his meet and greet that I encourage you to come to. If you're getting ready to order a Corvette, you will see every color instead of mode, yeah. on a TV or a, a computer screen. See you'll in person. See every color and every interior. And if I was ordering a Corvette, that's what I visually would like to do. So it's just a great time. It's a fun time for all of us. And I would invite you uh, to come see our Sebring Orange Callaway Corvette.